Hey everyone, this is Deanna with Deanna's Crafts and Creations. I am here to show you my design team box uh, that I got uh, for my first term on the Country Craft Creations in Hooper design team. Uh, lots of great stuff in here. Going to start off with some score tape. Uh, she's got a great deal on score tape. Uh, score tape is a two-sided tape. It's This is quarter inch thick. And I use it for mini albums uh, and the construction of my covers. Uh, so I would use that to adhere the paper to the chipboard. Um, if it may, if I have any kind of binding in the middle where I have to attach pages to it, I use the score tape for that. It's um, it holds up well. It is a paper tape on both sides, so you can tear it with your hands. You don't need scissors um, to cut it or anything. And I almost always just tear it when I'm working with it. Um, it says on the front of it, perfect for cards, boxes, litter, embossing, scrapbooking, foils, ribbons, origami, iris folding, microbeads. Um, I've never actually used it for any of those things except for making mini albums and uh, sometimes with making cards. Um, but I have seen other people uh, put down a line of it and put some glitter on it, burnish it real well, and use it for glitter tape. So that might be something to try. I don't do glitter, but, um, you know, maybe someone else would like to try that. She also sells these basic gray magnets. These are awesome. They are self-adhesive, super slim, and seriously strong. That's what the back of the package says. They're very thin, about like a dime, and you get 10 pair in a package. Um, I mostly use these in mini albums. I've never actually used them in anything but mini albums. I'm sure you can use them for other crafts, but um, I make a lot of mini albums, so I use them for that. You can use them for closures um, if you wrap something around the back to hook to the front to kind of keep uh, your book together. Uh, mostly I use them for envelopes to keep um, them shut so stuff doesn't go flying all over the place. You, A lot of people use Velcro. I am i don't like to use Velcro, uh, number one, because I don't have any. Uh, but number two, I'm always afraid that I'm going to rip it when I'm opening the envelope or someone else might rip it. And I'd feel bad if that happened. So uh, the magnets are great for that. They're super thin, like I said, so you can, um, they don't take up any room, any mini of them. Graphic 45 staples, um, ATC tags, artist trading card tags. Um, they're the size of a baseball card. Um, they've got um, the tag shape on the top that Graphic 45 does. They're already uh, punched with a hole and a grommet in there, and it comes with a ring. So these are going to be fun to use. I'm not sure uh, what I'll do with that, but we shall see. And the paper pad that, uh, paper collection that I got to work with this time is the Graphic 45 Bohemian Bazaar. I was super excited when she told me that I was going to get this because I wanted to buy it when it first came out and I never did. Uh, so I was super excited to get it. It is very bright, lots of bright colors uh, yellow and lime green and turquoise, hot pink. Um, so that's really fun. And that's the back side. It's yellow. Uh, Graphic 45 also puts uh, some cut apart cards in there. They do some 4x6 and then sometimes they mix some 3x4s and some other sizes in there. Um, these are all 4x6. So if you do pocket style scrapbooking, these are perfect for that. So this is the front and see this is the favorite so this is the back lots of fun stuff good room for journaling um or you put pictures on them you can just leave them just like they are um, there's some blue and then uh, the back side is that gray the green and the blue nice circle print with some yellow polka dots Stripes. These are good to cut apart and use for borders. And it's got a pretty orange on the back. Blue and then a pink for the back of that one. There's that. And some green. A nice hot pink. Those little flowers. Uh, let's see here. I also got a sheet of the chipboard stickers. 
Um, it's a 12 by 12 sheet, so you got lots of stuff on there. Um, these alphabets, you get several of each letter. They're like postage stamp size, so they're a good size. Um, border strips, some little titles, some tags, photo corners. There's some tickets down here at the bottom. These are, like I said, they're cardstock, so they're heavy stickers, so they're going to hold up in your books. I got uh, the chipboard pieces. I love Graphic 45 because they um, have so many embellishments, uh, pieces that you can buy to coordinate with the collection. So this, um, I got the sticker sheet, and I got these chipboards. So those are fun. There's tags down there at the bottom. You can, uh, you know, punch the little dot out there and put some twine, some twine or some ribbon. There's some buttons, some of the little doodads, a frame right there. That circle piece punches out. You can use that as an embellishment, and then um, the frame there. And these are double-sided tags and pockets. So. This side, there's one of the pockets right there. They just fold up really easy, and then there's a little tab right there. You just put a little bit of adhesive on it, so that score tape would be good, or some wet glue. And then you have all these tags, which uh, fit nicely um, right inside there. So those are great for mini albums. Um, you can you know, put your journaling on them, or if you print some small pictures, you put some small pictures in there. Um, they're good if you make, uh, they're good for the front of cards. You make cards. Um, you can put the, you know, you can cut it apart and use the envelope, um, like that one right there. Let's see. You could cut the flaps off and cut it right there, and that would be a nice design element on the front of a card, um, if you didn't want to use it, and then, um, you know, like an envelope, and then you could, um, stamp a sentiment on there or something and even use that on the front of the card. Um, so, they're very versatile. Anyway, um, I'm going to put the links down below for the um, Country Craft Creations and Hooper Facebook group and um, the website, which has the blog and the store where you can order online. And that's about it. Uh, you can look for some uh, a few projects uh, by me uh, coming up in a couple of weeks. I've got a project due the second week of October, so I better get busy. All right, thanks. Have a good one.